Your fifth question, at least the one that I, I saw highly rated with upvotes, concerned whether reform could be approached top down or bottom up or both. And I think the, the person's question really had to do with how to manage and whether it was better to adopt one move or the other or both and whether organizations could apply both. And I think the, the clear answer is that, uh, you know, our different theories are going to propose a top-down or a bottom-up strategy. And in some cases, like a natural system, they may even advocate both. Um, so it's really not going to be a silver bullet here in any of the answers you're looking for in terms of managerial practice. But I think it's clear that a purely top-down reform is going to get res kind of a resistant response from people further down in the hierarchy, that if you impose a particular solution um, on a populace or an organization, that the members might not have buy-in. Uh, conversely, a, a purely bottom-up or emergent um, reform may lead an organization in, in strange directions that are not consistent across units or across organizations that aren't standardized and comparable. And I think you'll see some of that in this week's case about uh, Chicago public school reforms, where in one version of the reform, it's a, a bottom-up local school council effort. And in the other case, it's a top-down centralized effort that the mayor is kind of in charge of. In, in many instances, I think what you're really going to want as a manager is a recoupling across units of administration and the, and the uh, bottom uh, or the, the workers in particular, so that you don't have this kind of mismatch or this lack of coordination or the lack of buy-in. So I do think a mixture is typically what you want, albeit I can see for certain reasons where an organization's having problems where it's not standardized or it has all these different solutions that you'd want top-down, or vice versa, that you have no buy-in, so you'd want to establish more of a, a bottom-up kind of reform. So depending on the context and the situation that you're experiencing within your organization, you may want a different kind of reform effort. Albeit, you, you always want to keep in mind that a lack of coordination or coupling across the, the administrative units and the workers' units would be problematic uh, nevertheless.